Yo, what is going on guys? Hope you all guys are having a great time. The weather is not nice today, but we don't care. <laughs> because we banked some profits tonight. Well, made another 11 grand on gold. So with yesterday and the trade that I closed uh, tonight, I'm up around 30 grand. And I still have one position in gold remaining with 14 grand on the clock. And yeah, one dope position. And yeah, very sweet how this baby is running. Well, as I explained yesterday, I was trying to get in around this horizontal level, right? So let me show you. Um. Let me show it to you on the chart so you can better see it well. Um, I was waiting. Oh, the sun is shining hard. Well, what I did was I searched for the recent strong move to the upside. And this was from here right, right over to here. And then I was waiting for price to come around the 62 area, 62% 62 area, which is this. And then we also had this horizontal level where price, uh, where price, um, uh, what price rejected uh, before. And then after it has pushed through, it came kind of a support level, as you can see. And yeah, this was the time when when I wanted to get in into the into the nice uh, bullish trend. And yeah, let's see if we can hit the target here. This target is around twenty two thousand. And if we if we hit the stop loss, it will be another eight thousand seven hundred. Yeah. Trades are running in the game, guys. This is how we do it. Yo, what is going on, traders? I hope you all guys are having a great time. Well, check this out, guys. Gold, uh, gold got stopped out, so we didn't reach uh, the the profit target that we aimed for. And unfortunately, uh, let me show you. Well, gold made a gold made a big move uh, to the downside just to just to catch some stops and we literally got stopped out <laughs> right here so yeah very sad very sad story otherwise we would be up 20 grand right now but yeah it's part of the game guys we uh, yeah <laughs> fuck it we made 38 grand so that's nice yes yeah, and that's it, guys. Or right, wait, let me talk to you about something. Well, um, Dow Jones is still in the game. Ten grand in profit, guys. You see this? Yeah, sweet. All right, now let let me let me tell you something about what disciplined traders always do, and what you have to implement in your trading as well. Otherwise, you will fail. So the first trade, uh, the first, sorry, the first thing that disciplined traders always do is they wait for the trades to come to their price where they where they want to get in. So they wait for their trades to come to them uh, because you have to think about trading like surfing. Well, um, you cannot catch a nice uh, always a nice wave every day you have to wait for the wave you know as a surfer you wait for your wave and um, trading is um, trading is uh, basically the same thing yeah you are a surfer you surf in the market and you wait for the trades to come to you all right you, you want to ride the wave this is what we do and um, yeah and we do not trade every day if you cannot see a setup if you cannot see your setup if you cannot see your opportunity then why should you 
why should you enter a trade if you if you don't have a setup and there are some days where you don't have to trade because there's no opportunity because your your uh, the setup that you're looking for is not coming or whatever you have to wait for it or price is not coming to your tar uh, to the to the entry price where you want to get in so you so you simply don't trade do something else you know um do what you love <laughs> basically that that's the best thing and disciplined traders have a watch list like they have their favorite pairs some traders only trade one pair they focus on just one pair you know and some other traders focus on two pairs or three or six or eight or whatever is possible for them um but it is very important that you find your favorite trades uh, your favorite pairs that you want to trade and then you stick to stick to the plan and trade these pairs all right um the next thing you have to do is you have to journal your trades why is it so important to journal your trades well you have to you have to find out what works and what doesn't so you need to write down in your journal what works and what doesn't work you know and by journaling that it is a lot easier for you to become consistently profitable because you always see your uh, what you did wrong or whatever so you can um, so you can become better you know this is why it's very important to to have a trading journal and I like to have like a notebook where I write it down with my hands, you know. This is this is how I like it. And yeah, get a trading journal, write down all your trades. Very important part. And yeah, the next thing is always review your losing trades. Analyze what 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 went wrong, you know. Analyze what went wrong and then next time try to avoid these mistake again, you know. And yeah. Next thing is uh, never over trade. Well, you know this feeling when you lose like two, three trades in a row and you want to get it back f as quick as possible. I know that feeling. Everybody goes through that. But don't over trade. If you lose two, three trades in a row and you're just trading in the wrong direction, then fuck it. Turn off the screen. Do something else and don't trade for the day. All right. Just stop it. Because if you if you trade against the trend. And you want to get in again and again and again, then you will take a major loss and over leverage your account. That's and that's fucked up. So don't try to over trade. Over trade. Wait for your for the opportunity to come to your target, and then if it if it works, well, nice, bank some money. If it doesn't work, fuck it. There will be another day. Some will still come up tomorrow, you know. And <clears throat> next thing. Next thing guys, traders have hobbies, all right? Very important. Don't don't go insane and watch watch the charts all day. You get crazy, you know? All these numbers and stuff like that. You need a hobby. Like I like to play basketball, playing video games, take my dog for a walk or whatever. And yeah, have a hobby and uh find time to do what you love yeah to relax your mind don't stare at the charts all day otherwise you will go insane and blow blow your account because for real the longer you are in the market the more money you're gonna lose all right but this is this only um if, if you're a day trader, okay? So, well, if you're a trend trader, if you trade in bigger time frame, then, of course, you want to hold positions longer, all right? But if you're a day trader, you want to get out, get get in and out quickly. You know, you want to catch one nice big move, cash out, and that's it for the day, all right? Um, yeah. Next thing, next thing discipline traders always do is they never marry their trades. Right, consistency is everything. If the trade is not running in your favor, then cut your losses. Don't marry the trade. You will have another opportunity that works way better. So get rid of it. Cut the loss and fuck it. Keep keep going. You know, consistency is everything in trading, guys. Consistency creates fortunes. All right. 
very very important part and next thing is traders never compare to other people they go their own way they have their own rules they they have their own lane you know as a trader you do your thing you want to do your thing and you want, you want to become the the best the best trader you can be but you you don't want to you don't want to mimic other people's you know you don't want to compare to other people's you want to play your game all right that's why it's so important to create your own plan to create your own game plan that you stick to you know create your own routines your rules that's very important to become to get on top of the game you know so yeah never compare yourself to other people and play your own game you know yeah and that's it man that's it that's that's what i want to say um yeah stay healthy and enjoy your evening peace out buddy